another day and another AI coding assistant. This time, Stability AI has introduced Stable Code, which is a cutting edge large language model aimed at code generation. This tool, the, st uh, the Stable Code, is designed to boost programmer's efficiency, which operates in three distinct models. The first one is called as base model, then we have instruction model, and then the third one is long context window model. Base model is initially trained on the big code stack dataset, and it supports languages like Python, Java, C++, and many more. It also leverages 560 billion code tokens. The second one, instruction model, is fine-tuned for specific use cases, and it was trained on around 120,000 code instruction response combinations. The third and last one, the long context window model, provides autocomplete suggestions and can handle an impressive context window of 16,000 tokens, which is around four times more than any other existing models. And I believe this is the thing which stands it out from the rest of the lot. Stability AI's commitment to democratizing technology is evident with stable code, aiming to empower new generations of software developers. Also, it is using human eval benchmarks, and that is how they are showcasing how stable code stacks up against similar models. On my screen, you can see the stable code repository, and in order to access it, you need to share your contact information. So scroll down, checkbox, and then click on Agree and Access Repository. So I'm already logged in at Hugging Face, so it has my stuff. Now, you can try it out on this Hugging Face easily by typing your sentence here. Or you can use this Python code by easily putting it in your uh, code editor or run it in your Linux server or even you can run it in the Jupyter Notebook. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, and use this code to install it in the notebook instance. Or you could just go in uh, on this hugging face and then here you can interact with it. So I hope that you found it useful. If you have any questions or feedback, please put it in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.